Hey there, it's Maria. Welcome back. I am excited to chat with you today. I've got something pretty important I want to talk to you about, and that has to do with belief. So I'm a strong believer that your beliefs dictate what actually happens. So if you believe that something's going to go wrong, you will be right. If you believe that a miracle is going to, going to happen, you're creating a lot bigger of an opportunity for that miracle to take shape than if you didn't believe it was possible. And I was thinking about our Diamond Club planning for our doTERRA team, uh, but this applies if you don't have a doTERRA team, this just applies in general life, um, kind of across the board. Uh, and I had, I've been planning a lot of events for these, for the Di Diamond Club. And I kept hearing in my head, my leaders and myself say, but people here don't come to events. But people here don't come to events. But people here don't come to events. So what do we believe? We believe that people don't show up for the events that we plan. And we've created those beliefs um, on the premise that we've had an event, no one has shown, and bada bing, bada boom, that is the rule that we've made. Um, and I think that's fine. Except for if I'm putting in a lot of effort to plan events and I also believe that no one's going to show, I'm not exactly sure why I'm taking all that time to do such a thing. And I guess I'm kind of going to challenge you to consider what your limiting beliefs are around events, around what's going on in your business, around your capacity, and just look at them. Write them down on a piece of paper. I've written mine down. And part of it was one of my limiting beliefs is people don't like to come to events or people don't come to events. And when I looked at that and I thought about it more, what I realized is people's time is precious. People do care about their health. People do care about taking care of their family naturally. But maybe in the past, I wasn't super clear on the fact that this event was well worth their time. So, in my opinion, the event that we have coming up on February the 3rd, that one particular event, which starts us off, kind of kicks us off at top of the 80s in Hazelton, it's not going to be like any other event we've done. It's going to be something new to the area, something super exciting. There's going to be amazing energy in that room, not because of me only, but because of all of you and the energy that you bring. And that's an event that people won't want to miss. In my opinion, that event, being there, is being part of history. Being a part of the first large movement toward empowered wellness in Hazleton, the Hazleton area, the northeastern Pennsylvania. Um, at least one we've seen in the Hazleton area. And I think that's tremendous and totally an event worth inviting people to and totally an event worth attending if you get an invite. So I wanted you to consider the events then that are smaller, the ones that you might have at your home. And just think about that for a moment. Um, you've had them in the past, maybe people showed, maybe they didn't. Maybe you've chalked up they're not showing to set to the fact that people just don't go to events. And if that is the case, don't plan events. It's not worth your time. But if you do believe that for doTERRA purposes or for the purposes of any other thing, you've been able to get a group of people together for an event, then it would dispel your belief that people don't come to events, whether it's a church event, whether it's a friend event, whether it's a birthday party. If people can come, they can come to the oil event that you're having because you know it's important and impactful and life-changing. And so I have just realized if I'm going to be spending a lot of energy towards planning things, and then believe that people aren't gonna come, I am literally shooting myself in the foot and I am not willing to do that. I'm not the type of person. Time is precious. I don't have the time or the energy to waste. So my decision has been to get my beliefs to line up with my actions so that I believe people will be attending because I believe this is something that's going to be so awesome and they won't wanna miss. And I believe that about every class that I teach. I had a class on a day that we had a snowstorm in Pennsylvania and I had four people who were coming before the snowstorm and then because of the snow three people couldn't come but one person still came and I had that event for her because 
it's not about a multitude necessarily. It's about being there for that one person. And to me, that was an extreme testament to the fact that people come to events because she had to brave ice and snow, but she really wanted to get out. She really wanted to see me. She really wanted to make the oil blend that we made. She really wanted to chat. And it was worth her while to come to that event. And I am moving forward, taking on that belief that people care about what I have to say. And this is an important thing. And so if this video has triggered anything in you, as far as loading beliefs, please put them down on paper and then bring them to the person that you talk to, whether it's your spouse, whether it's your upline leader, whether it's your best friend, talk about them and see if they are 100% true and bulletproof or if there might be some holes. All right, that's all that I have for you in this brief segment, but I hope that it tips something in a positive direction um, and I look forward to seeing you here again. So talk to you soon.